lungs. It is a pair of respiratory organs situated in the thoracic cavity, one on either side of the mediastinum. General features. It has an apex, a base or inferior surface, three borders, anterior border, posterior border and inferior border. Anterior border, posterior border and inferior border. Three borders and two surfaces. Costal surface and medial surface. The medial surface is also known as mediastinal surface since it is facing the mediastinum. On the medial surface there is a slit known as hilum of lung. The structures which enters the hilum of the lung are number one primary bronchus, primary bronchus, one pulmonary artery, two pulmonary veins, bronchial vessels and nerves that is bronchial artery, bronchial vein and the bronchial nerves. So these are the structures present in the hilum. Okay. There is a single primary bronchus in case of left lung, whereas in case of right lung there are two primary bronchus. Lobes and fissures of the lung. The right lung has two fissures, oblique fissure and transverse fissure and three lobes superior lobe, middle and inferior lobes. The left lung has one fissure, oblique fissure and two lobes, superior and inferior lobe. Difference between the right and left lung. The right lung is short and wider. The left lung is long and narrower. The right lung has two fissures and three lobes. The left lung has one fissure and two lobes. Presence of cardiac notch in the left lung, it is absent in case of right lung. The <coughs> cardiac fossa is deep in case of left lung. It is shallow in case of right lung. Presence of lingula in left lung, absence of lingula in the right lung. The right lung has two primary bronchi, the left lung has one primary bronchus. So these are the difference between the right and left lungs. Blood supply, bronchial artery, venous drainage, bronchial vein, nerve supply, Nerves arising from the T2, T3, T4 and T5 segments of the spinal cord that is sympathetic. Okay, parasympathetic is by vagus nerve. <coughs> bronchopulmonary segments. What is bronchopulmonary segment? See this is trachea. Dividing into right and left bronchi. Okay, I have bron see the primary bronchus is dividing into secondary bronchus. There are two lobes on the left side, so two secondary bronchus. Okay, the secondary bronchus again divides into so many tertiary bronchus. Okay, see the bronchi is accompanied by pulmonary artery. If the bronchi divides into two. It also divides into two. I mean, it terminal branches. How many branches are it is dividing? The same way the branches of the pulmonary artery also takes place. So finally, you can see the tertiary bronchi. Okay, tertiary bronchi and an artery is accompanying it. That is the branch from the pulmonary artery. So what is bronchopulmonary segment? It is the part of the lung any part of the lung, it is a part of the lung aerated by tertiary bronchus and its 
a complete branch of pulmonary artery. This is the definition. Once again, repeat. Okay. The part of the lung which is aerated by tertiary bronchus and its accompanying branch of pulmonary artery constitutes bronchopulmonary segments. Based upon the word bronchopulmonary segments, the lung okay, is divided into it has 10 segments. The right lung has 10 bronchopulmonary segments and the left lung has 10 bronchopulmonary segments. What are the bronco, 10 bronchopulmonary segments in the right lung? Okay. The upper lobe has apical, anterior and posterior. The middle lobe has medial and lateral. The lower lobe, inferior lobe has okay, superior apical, anterior basal, posterior basal, medial basal and lateral basal. So these are the 10 segments present in the right lung. In case of left lung, okay, it consists of two lobes. So the upper lobe has apical, anterior, posterior, okay, superior lingula and inferior lingula. So these are the five branches in the upper lobe. The lobe, lobe consists of okay, sub, superior apical, anterior basal, posterior basal, medial basal and lateral basal. So these are the bronchopulmonary segments of the lungs. So the bronchopulmonary segments are clinically very very important because this helps to okay, find out which part of the segment or which part of the lung is affected. So based upon that, only that particular segment is removed. Thus, it prevents okay, unnecessary removing of most of the part of the lung. <coughs> Diaphragm. It is a dome shape. It is a dome shape. Musculo aponeurotic made up of muscle and aponeurosis. Musculo aponeurotic organ that intervenes between the thorax and the abdomen. That intervenes between the thorax and abdomen. Attachments. Anteriorly, it is attached to the lower end of the sternum. Posteriorly, it is attached to the twelfth thoracic vertebra. Okay. Laterally, it is attached to the costal margin, that is the margin of the thoracic cage. Okay, yes. Insertion, it is inserted into the central tendon. Central tendon. Okay. It has two surfaces, superior surface, inferior surface. The superior surface is related to right lung, left lung and the heart. The inferior surface is related to liver on the right side and stomach on the left side. Openings of the diaphragm. There are three major openings in the diaphragm. Okay, one for the inferior nakeba, one for the esophagus, and one for the iota. Okay. Number one, opening for inferior vena cava at the level of T8, 8th thoracic vertebra. Opening for esophagus at the level of T10. Opening for iota at the level of T12. So how to remember the opening levels without any mistake? D, G, O. Okay, D stands for deoxygenated blood, G stands for gastric, O stands for oxygenated blood. So deoxygenated blood is that by inferior vena cava, so at the level of T8, G gastric, that is esophagus comes and joins the stomach, so at the level of T10, O. Okay, I oxygenated blood. So the artery which is taking oxygenated blood is the iota. So at the level of T12. Okay. Now supply, phrenic nerve. Blood supply, okay. Inferior, superior and inferior phrenic arteries. Okay. Regarding the lungs, okay. I have to take one more thing. Okay. Pleura. What is pleura? It is a delicate fibrocerous sac which encloses the lungs and the root of the structures which enters the lungs. Layers of the pleura. It consists of two layers. Visceral layer 
and parietal layer. The visceral layer is adherent to the surface of the lung, adherent to the surface of the lung. The pleural, okay, the parietal layer is attached to the inner surface of the thoracic wall. Inner surface of the thoracic wall. So the pleura has three. Okay, this is this is the lung. So this is the pleura. This is the visceral surface adherent to the surface of the lung. So after coming to the high lung, it again reflects. So you can see there are two layers of the pleura. One is one is the visceral layer and another is the parietal layer. So this is the visceral layer and this is the parietal layer. This is parietal, that is like the body cavity. And this is the visceral layer. The pleura is divided into diaphragmatic pleura, costal pleura, mediastinal pleura, okay, and cervical pleura, this area where the effects of the lung is present. Recess of the pleura. See, between the costal pleura and the diaphragmatic pleura, there is a space <coughs> which extends downwards. This is the costo-diaphragmatic recess. Okay, it lies exactly at the midaxillary mid line. Okay, aspiration of fluid from the costo-diaphragmatic recess is taken for pathological investigation after post-operative section. So, this is the space where the fluid is collected. Now, supply of the pleura. Phrenic nerve. 